Echo. You owe me Echo. All right. Who wants to go for a walkie poo? Huh? Who wants to go for a walk? Who's gonna be good? Arthur, we are a big puller. We're not taking you. Oh, we did. All right. We did. We did. We did. Ooh, that's a buzz. Fall lie down. Mama's having an interview. I started dog walking because I came back from working in England, corporate America, out of college. And I decided I didn't want to do corporate America in the United States because you're limited to a week or two weeks vacation. And I wanted six weeks to be able to travel internationally like everybody in Europe does. And um, so I thought I'd go back to a uh, restaurant business, which I knew really well, waitressing, and that maybe I would manage my own restaurant and then eventually own my own. And why I was doing that people clients who came into the restaurant a lot were asking if I would take care of their dogs you know and I loved I always loved animals so I said yes and then you know I found myself housing a lot and then I went in the yellow pages and saw one business and a couple of my clients had had this one company do dog walks for them so I decided that I was gonna give this a shot so I approached my father you know and uh, he couldn't believe it you know being top of my class and working for a company in England and I wanted to be a dog walker now. But I got upset and he realized that he was retired and he didn't know what he wanted to do and he just wanted me to be happy and love their job like he loved his job. So he said go ahead and give it a try and if, it, if you need help financially I'll help you out. And then within six months you know I was you know pretty much you know full time. Tell me about your clientele. I know like I said I just have the rich and wealthy people and uh, people that you know um, Hire me because they 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 feel guilty and they want their dogs to have more attention or they want to they don't want to do the walks themselves and they want to go out and do their stuff with their friends and working out so they hire me um, to relieve their guilt because when they get home and they're tired they don't feel like doing it they don't have to worry about it especially in the cold weather people love to have a dog walker in the winters and rain because nobody wants to go outside and walk their dogs I and mean, they love it so they'll hire me but they don't want to do it drop dogs off to groomers or vets but I go to anywhere to 23 houses a day walking dogs, you know, and I double up and triple up on the dogs. I just brought them over here, the dogs over here to play and stuff like that, you know, um, do a little play group when people want to run a bunch of errands during the day or do something like that. So they're just sitting here playing, interacting with each other. My dogs always get to eat first. Yeah, they do. 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 Yeah, they Let's get one measuring cup out. You gotta get the measuring cup. I just, I have a system. I just, give them a little pop on the head if they try to. You know? Some dogs eat too fast. So I gotta put water in. So, kind of like a soothing going down. Come Matty. Matt, Matt eats first. Good girl, Matt, Matt. Hey, no. He's sassy. Sassy, you next, Dad? Okay, so when I first started my business, I, of course, am insecure about what I'm doing and want to make it go, so I had this client that I walked their Goldens in um, Glencoe, and it was really the husband's dogs, the wife didn't really care for the dogs, and so um, they asked me to come walk the dogs for like an hour before this party they were having. So I went to the house, and then I had asked, I rang the doorbell, and the lady came, she said, you know, came out, and I said, do you mind if I use your bathroom? And she said, can you hold on a second? So she came back out and handed me a roll of toilet paper and said that the bathrooms were already ready for the guests. And so I felt like so awful. Like I can't even tell you the flush of like, just an awful feeling. Because, and you don't say anything because you just started this business, you don't, you're like shocked. But now that I'm confident I have a successful business, I probably, if that would have happened to me now, I probably would have taken the toilet paper and teak beat her house before the party came. I have a client in Lake Forest who's had several affairs um, and his wife knows about it and they would always have fights in front of me and he would tell me all about it. I've had uh, walk into people's houses and the kids are having parties doing lines of cocaine and smoking pot and they're not supposed to be there. I've had, you know, like I said before, lady drop her pants to show me her scar and how well her hip replacement is healing, which I couldn't believe. You know what? Again. If you dress right and you love your job, the weather doesn't bother you at all. If you really love what you're doing, none of that stuff matters. Does, does, does not take an effect whatsoever in your life. Don't you think these dogs have been having a lot of fun? We've just been sitting here and they're just having the best time playing.